This expedition is an exciting read. The diaries are well written. The Spanish are amazing writers in those years. And this is true about these this journals. The journals are filled with descriptions of people, places. It's like a story. You don't know if it's going to end successfully or not. It has a beginning, it has an end, it is adventure, it's got danger, they're starving, uh, they're lost, their instruments don't work. The photographs in this project are driven by the text, always. I, I would read the diaries and find out where are they and what amazed them. The picture of the San Juan River was a special photograph because they were lost in the mountains between Dulce and that river. When they bust out onto that river, it's a sign of delight. They kind of know where they are. It's, Times like that, that I also stop and look at this river, and it's easier for me to imagine the story. Hence, you make pictures in those kinds of places, special places. At the Grand Mesa encounter, with the 80 Utes and all their teepees and wives and kids, a significant thing happens for them. They finally have a guide. Up to this point, there's nobody guiding them anywhere. This, this expedition was the first exploration of the Northern Territories of the Spanish Empire. The expedition failed in more ways than it succeeded. For instance, they were supposed to discover why the Indians at Utah Lake had beards. The myth was they were the lost tribe of Spanish soldiers, but of course that didn't work out. One of the primary goals of this expedition is to Christianize Indians and look for future Spanish settlements. The expedition spends uh, two days, two precious days, talking to the natives, which they call the fish eaters. They talk about the fish, the wildlife, the rivers that dump into it. It has four major streams, each of them bigger than the Rio Grande, dumping into this thing. Somewhere in the month of October, they realized they've got to make a decision whether to continue west or not. Uh, it was starting to snow. Bernardo Miera, who is the cartographer and the most senior member of the expedition, it tells them that it's only five days' march to California. He was totally wrong. They decide to make a decision by drawing lots. And the deal is, if um, they decide to go west to California, Mir is going to be the boss. It's almost like a mutiny. No one knows how they do the lots, but it turns out their decision was to come back to Santa Fe. It's a good thing they didn't because there's like five mountain ranges in Nevada and the Sierra Nevada mountains in California, which are 400 miles long, full of snow at the time of the year. We would never have heard of these guys if they had lost that decision. The expedition is approximately two-thirds of the way home at this point. The obstacle in the way now is the, is the Colorado River and how to get across it. Well, it was a known river at the time. What was not known was that, the Grand, that they had the Grand Canyon in the, in the middle of it. At Horseshoe Bend, they're still looking for a crossing site traveling along the cliffs, trying to get down, up, and across the river, and back up the other side. During that time, it's going to take them 12 days to find a crossing site, where they go down, can't get across the river, cancel it, go back up, try it another time. The only problem is getting the horses down, and make that work. You had to chop holes in the 
sandstone cliffs where they put their horses, their horses' hooves. Along this route, they're going to carve their initials in a wall uh, past here in the year 7076, which stands now today as the only hard evidence of where they were at a given time. The Spanish government wasn't able to settle any of these wonderful areas that they discovered for potential settlements because they didn't have any money. They were busy fighting and joining the Revolutionary War on the East Coast, and they didn't have enough priests to supply these missions. Part of this project is to comment on the legacy of exploration. You know, I'm photographing making images of junkyards and, and cities and bridges and that's part of it is, is to look at the legacy of, of what happened as a consequence of these exploration trips. <laughs>